Well, we're back with the Real Estate Voice. I am Barb Schlinker with Your Home Sold Guarantee Realty. And this topic is about how to make sure that your home is the best available home on the market when you go on the market. Now, this is there is some work that has to be done to prepare for that. And if you're not ready right now and you're thinking of making a move in the future, we're happy to meet with you well ahead of when you want to go on the market. A lot of people make those requests and they will say, hey, will you come by and give us an idea what to do, what not to do to get our house ready for sale? We're actually planning on moving in the future, and but we can you kind of give you sort of a, a checklist and a to-do list of what needs to be done to make sure that your home is actually the best home on the block when you sell your home. So most people don't sell their homes very often. And some people haven't sold homes ever before. And really the technology has changed so much just in the past 10 years um, that really means that you have to hire a real estate agent that knows how to market and knows how to position the home so that you get the most amount of money. Um, when I first started in the real estate business, I don't know, some of you probably might be close to my age, but basically, um, if you want to buy a house, you'd go meet with a real estate agent and they would pull out this big white, it looked like a phone book that had maybe one black and white picture, maybe not. And the agents controlled all the inventory and there was no online presentation of homes at all. So what has changed with all this uh, really high quality imagery that we could put up online at a relatively low price is that back then when our listings were mostly not online or even 10 years after we did the online thing, the, the, the imagery was not that great. The buyers still had to go physically view homes to determine whether or not they wanted it. But in the last five to 10 years, the imagery, the photography has gotten so high tech, a majority of the buyers are making their decision about which homes they are going to actually leave their fuzzy bunny slippers and get in their car and drive by and make a request to see it. So years ago, before we had good technology, the typical buyer would look at 40 homes. Nowadays, the typical buyer looks at eight. So what that tells me essentially is that 80% of the decision about whether or not a buyer is even going to come look at your home is made based on the online presentation. So we focus our marketing dollars to get that right because we know how important it is. We do not want to repel buyers. We want to attract as many buyers as possible into the home so that you get choices of offers and you can pick the best buyer for you. So it really matters uh, who you pick to handle the sale and do the marketing because buyers will eliminate homes based on the online presentation. And you know what? They eliminate those homes in less than a minute. That's all it takes to make an impression. You know, I recently had a client that told me when I look at homes online, I give each home five clicks. And if I don't like what I see, I'm moving on. Well, imagine if that's your home, right? And your agent put up a bad picture or they put up too many of the wrong pictures, right? Five clicks and they're done, they're out. Could be a great home. I actually have an agent that's working for me, Amy, she's wonderful. And she said that she was working with this buyer that um, really because of the outside pictures, because overall the pictures were so bad, she did not wanna go see that home. But Amy knew better. Amy said, look, we, we can't find anything else. Let just humor me and come look at this home. Well, it turned out it looked way nicer than the online presentation. And that buyer actually purchased that home. But it was because Amy, my agent, took her there kind of kicking and screaming pretty much. So that's why you need to hire somebody that knows how to guide you in preparing your home for sale so that you're the best home on the block and that you're marketed correctly. They recently did a study to figure out how much time most buyers look at homes online. It is less than 57 seconds. And this is what they look at and in what order. The outside, that means curb appeal has to be right. The backyard, the view, make sure you clean up those yards. The living room, the kitchen, the master bathroom, and the master bedroom. So we help our clients get that right. And did you know that 
a majority of real estate agents actually spend less than $89 a month total on marketing. That includes their business cards. <laughs> it's terrible. They don't want to spend the money. They think it's the easy button. They can take their smartphone and take some happy snaps of the home and put it on the MLS and it's all good and they make thousands of dollars. But if you get this piece wrong, marketing somebody's longest, largest, most expensive asset in the wrong manner for a home seller, it could cost you thousands of dollars. And we don't want that to happen to our client. And that's why hiring the right agent and promotion is so important. Um, that includes excellent photos on your listing. Um, we want to make sure that that um, there, there is no elimination of your home based on the online presentation, because we really have no idea who's doing that. It could be you know, some other reason, like maybe it, it wasn't marketed that it had a main level bedroom and that's what they were looking for. So you have to make sure those important special benefits of your home are promoted as well. Um, the other thing is if somebody's thinking of selling your home and you want to find the right agent that actually does invest in marketing to make sure that you maximize the sales price of your home, that you're actually the best home on the block, that you have the best staging, the best preparation, the best curb appeal, the best professional photography, virtual tours, talking house ads, drones, blogs, that is what we do. So let's talk about staging. Um, did you know that most people have no idea how to do it? And just so you know, it is not my area of expertise. I don't have an artistic brain. I have to hire professionals that know how to do that to get that right. And that's part of what we include. We in provide we will provide interior designers that actually help work with your existing furniture if you're living in the home when you sell it, which is fine, um, to redesign the decorating so the home looks a little bit more austere. And even when we get the pictures back, we're just getting ready for photo day. Some of the things that we'll ask you to do is like the kitchen, everything off the kitchen counter except the um, coffee pot, bathrooms, the same thing pick up those throw rugs on the floor. Make sure that you don't have a dish towel hanging on your stove. Um, it, just, it, it might be the way you live and there's nothing wrong with that, but we will take care of that or recommend that you do that on photo day. You can always put it back after. They're not gonna remember. But the reason why we do this staging is that according to the National Association of Realtors, buyers will pay anywhere from 2,800 to $15,000 more for a home that is staged. And that's why we include that. And most agents don't even think about it. I'm showing a picture right now of a room that looks very dated with kind of granny curtains and lace stuff and lots of furniture and to dog toys on the floor. It, it, it's so easy to fix this, you know, and the buyers will eliminate homes based on these poorly presented photos. They're like, oh, forget it. If it looks like that in the picture, it's going to be worse when I get there. So you want to make sure that you don't get that wrong. Vacant homes also do not present as well. And we have a solution for that, digital marketing. Or if you have even dramatic paint. I actually, um, I had a, my brother had a listing where um, we had two on the market, same side, very similar homes, one of them sold for a bit more and his was sitting on the market. So he finally asked me, what, what's wrong? I'm like, well, <laughs> there's a couple of walls that have dramatic paint. I think one of the colors was like turquoise and the other was sort of a magenta color. Um, and it, it's just the buyers don't want to do any work, right? So hire a handyman. They spent less than $1,000. They went in and neutralized the paint. Boom, sold right away for full price. So bringing in furniture sometimes helps, but if you don't want that to happen, we actually have what we call digital staging, um, where we digitally put the furniture in the home and it, it's very, it looks very real. Now, if they come and look at the house, we actually take those images and blow them up on poster board. That way, when they're in the home, they can still get the feel for how it will look with furniture. But our whole idea is to make sure that we're creating as much demand in the entire buyer population of your home so that we avoid online buyer elimination. So we're going to take a short break. And when we come back, we'll talk more about 
what are some of the important things that photos should be handled when you put your house on the market? All right, so some people wonder, why, why is it important that photos are right? Even why is it important that it's priced right? Won't they just make an offer? <laughs> well, no, they won't. They won't because they're probably planning on offering less and they're afraid you're not going to take it. With photos, it's kind of a different deal. It's really, really important. <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, it's really, really important that the buyers love the home online because we don't want to eliminate the homes based on the online pictures. So how do you know that? How do you know that as a home seller, a prospective home seller, what's wrong with this picture? What I would do is just go look online, look at some houses. If you already have your house on the market, look at the photos and or have a family member that doesn't mind being you know, painfully honest with you and say, what do you think? Would you want to go see this home? You really need to know. I get lots of questions of home sellers. They're like, I'm so frustrated. Why is my house not selling? And a lot of times it's these simple things that you can do with the online presentation because you have to do a lot to motivate people to get in the car and drive by or to request to come in and see the home. And we actually offer many different kinds of what we call buyer attraction tools. Uh, we use video, we use um, uh, virtual staging, we use uh, marketing on the internet, not just um, a sign. We put up a sign with our phone number, but we have some proprietary things that we use, which is called Our House Talks, because what a lot of buyers do is they drive by see if they like the curb appeal before they even talk to a real estate agent. They want to know whether or not it's a home that they want to request to go inside. So don't be surprised if you see people kind of stalking your house when it goes on the market before they make a request. They're scoping out curb appeal and trying to get a feel for if they like it in the area. And if you pass that test, they will make a request. But a majority of the younger buyers, which a majority of them are now, the millennials and the Gen Xers, they don't like talking on the phone um, and they particularly don't want to talk to a scary salesperson. So they'll come in front of the house and they'll Google it. So we offer a proprietary uh, website that's called Our House Talks with a unique ID to your home, which they can go directly online without talking to a scary salesperson and get all the information they need 24-7. And that way, because of that, we actually get more calls. So, and so that's our talking house ad. We also have professional photography, drone imagery. You want to make sure when you're putting your house on the market that you hire the team that knows how to avoid repelling buyers. And we don't put a picture of every single home. I just met with a home seller uh, this week. And the pictures of there were just, it was mind boggling how bad they were. This is a very expensive home actually. Um, and, and he was like, oh, I don't even wanna look at that. How do I get rid of those? I'm like, you don't until you've replaced them with something better. So anyway, um, you know, people will look at homes that they like online. So that's the number one test that you have to pass. And if you're thinking of making a move and you wanna find out how to make sure your home is the best home on the block, Go to barbhasthebuyers.com or give me a call at 719-301-3900.